Well, a new exhibition in Manhattan is giving visitors an immersive experience into the life and legacy of renowned Brooklyn artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Basquiat was known around the world for his graffiti style paintings before passing away in the late 80s. News 12's Jean A. Caldwell has more on what visitors can expect on this road trip close to home. Brooklyn-born artist John Michel Basquiat was a trailblazer in the art world. He rose to fame in the 80s and was largely known for his colorful abstract paintings. If you want to know about Jean Michel, look at his work because it's almost like having insight into his journal, you know, just to get his thoughts. He was funny, very funny. He was incredibly creative. Nearly 200 never before seen paintings, drawings and artifacts are now on display at the new King Pleasure exhibition in Manhattan. There's some environmental recreations and we really want people to have a, sm a strong emotional connection to Jean-Michel. The exhibition takes visitors on a journey through Basquiat's personal life with specially curated rooms showing recreations of his childhood home and even the iconic Palladium nightclub where two of his paintings hung for years. What they're going to see is a lot of the, s the actual items that were in our home. The books came from our childhood home, the ashtray, all kinds of things. And the things that are in Jean-Michel's studio are also mostly his actual things. Basquiat sisters curated the exhibition. They say they want visitors to get to know the man behind the persona. Jean-Michel was more than just this kind of phenomenon legend. and being and legend. And he had family that loved him. And we feel like that was the piece that was sort of missing from the story and from the narrative because you have this incredible man that was on this journey and it was important for people to understand how he got there. And by showing the world this legendary artwork, his sisters are hoping his legacy will continue to live on for years to come. In Manhattan, Johnny Caldwell, News 12.